Hello. Yes, this has been a while. Um, yeah, a combination of work and not knowing what to review because um, my knockoff selection has actually gotten quite slow. Uh, slow? Small is the word I was looking for. Uh, and I didn't want to review this now, but I'm going to have to because I haven't got much else. So, you know. And that is to follow up on... My uh, Soviet Megatron. Megatron, Soviet, yes. To follow him up, I've got what the same toy line referred to as, uh, can you see this? Light green. And some dogs going nuts. It's not mine. And it is the latest deformation robot. Nemesis Prime Evasion Mode Prime, or, you know, Nemesis version of the Evasion Mode Prime. Interesting. And here he is. <clears throat> now, I never got the official Evasion Mode Prime, so this is actually a bit of a treat for me. Uh, I've no idea what the scale is, I don't know if this is accurate or not. Because I never had the official one. But you can see the gun on top. Just pegs in there. I suppose you could try and peg it that way. But that possibly looks worse. So, I'll we'll peg that. Uh, I believe the original, uh, this is actually a firing missile, it's not on this. Which I actually approve of. And that looks like a really cool kind of shotgun, can you actually see any of that? That actually looks really cool. Fair to who's? I think it was the same on the original. It's just, why are they holding it back here where you'd imagine the clip is? Rather than holding it here where, you know, a shotgun handle is? It's got a scope for a shotgun. Whereas this is supposed to be a handle and this is supposed to be a stock. Like some kind of really powerful rifle. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But look at this thing. This is actually really nice. Like, really nice. Um, I think these two pieces at the side here were originally silver. And I've just gone over them with a black ma uh, sharpie. Because you lot know me, and I do stupid stuff like that. Uh, there's also these little bits sticking out the front here. Which will become relevant later, if you don't know this figure inside and out. And yeah, um, this, I believe, is supposed to have a hinge in it, but doesn't. So it's supposed to fold down. Doesn't. One solid piece. Oh well. The back. It's... Wheels are a bit, eh, but they roll, it's fine. Put your own few news, uh, news, noise over the top there, I'm not doing it. But yeah, he's really pretty, and I, I've always kind of liked the Nemesis Prime, or Nemesis Convoy, kind of paint job. It's a very pretty paint job. And this kind of hits the bills, I mean, it's got all the little rivets and stuff on it, look at that. It is beautiful, can't complain, it is beautiful. <coughs> I can't tell you if it's a good knockoff or not because I never had the original. So, size comparison Evasion Mode Prime and Asia Extinction Bumblebee. So, it's probably about in scale with Bumblebee and probably in scale with a. It's probably in scale with that as well. It's just a big old lorry, isn't it? So, yeah, it's a lorry. Yay! Go for transformation, because I'm not very good at this. <laughs> it's it's not... It, you can do it, it's just some of the bits don't like going where they want to go. Or where they're supposed to go, rather. So, first things first, there's a little lip there. So you can pull this whole front piece out. Hiya! So you can pull this whole piece out. And then you got to sort of wriggle the sides loose. And try and get this whole... Uh, actually, no, sorry. Bring the wheels out a little bit. They got these little tabs that go into this black piece here. And you just want those loose. They're useless in everything else, but they just hold this bit a little bit. So you wriggle the sides, pull this piece loose, and it's out. Okay. Okay then. Now we can start transforming it properly. Now we've got the front exploded. Alright, you wanna where are we? We'll fold these pieces here, just out, 
out of the way for now. Just just get them out of the way. And then we need to push this piece through. They sort of tab together, sort of like, well, they sort of hold together. We just push it through and start. This basically will get in the way of everything you want to do from now on. So you've got to fight around it. That's all I can say. Unless I'm just doing this all horribly wrong. Now, these just tab under the edge of this lip here. So you've got to try and untab it from there. There you go. See that little tab? And... <coughs> dear me. Coughing, coughing, coughing. Bring it out. Ha ha ha. So it just rotates basically where this window is. All the way over. Let's see if this side's going to behave as well. So bring it out. Rotate it all the way forward. Ha 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 ha. Don't tell me it's actually going to behave today. That's a novelty. It's the first time ever. Alright, so I'm just going to try and get the head past these pieces. So hopefully I can just rotate it. See, it rotates on this hinge here. This whole piece rotates. Come on, come on, behave. No, it's not going on it. Right, okay, I've got it that far. Now I've got to wriggle this piece loose from there. This this is a nasty transformation, just see now. Move that out of the way. And now I can fold it. I can, I can fold it up. Oh, is this exhausting you? It's exhausting me. All right. So I need to bring this side out slightly at that hinge there. This arm move away. Because it just about tabs inside there. I'll show you in a minute. And then rotate it all the other way while making sure this is out of the way of it. Just needs all the way up. And that's the worst bit of the transformation done. Now you just bring this piece around, make sure the head's basically flat where it's supposed to be. Bring this down and it just about sort of grips into place in here. And then you bring these around, which sort of find where they want to go. So close off. And you've made some nice robot-y pecs. That's nice. Bring these around. Uh, there's a tab just there. My finger is, that little tab. Goes into, where am I? That little slot there. Okay, you see that? That little slot there. And that's what holds it. That's what you had to untab before. The arms around, might as well rotate the wrists. Okay, and then this piece comes. Get these hip bits out of the way again. Uh, these wheels, sorry. Get this. Why is it stuck? It's no stuck before. Oh, it tabs into there. Didn't realise that. Bring that all the way up. And it just folds over the top. And sort of grips into place. And makes the rest of the body. There you go. So it's gone from there. Bring these up. Bring them down. And bring the camera up. Oh, dear. <coughs> okay. Now, this whole piece here, holding basically where the wheels and stuff are, I'm going to bring this out slightly. Wriggle these. These are the feet, and they've got to get down here. There's a double hinge in here, and you've got to turn it all the way. So you've got to sort of fight with the thing. So it'll turn so far. Bring the feet out of the way, push it through. There we go. And split them. Stay. <coughs> The head needs to come forward a bit more, whatever, you can just, yeah, I don't care. And there we go. <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> My throat is completely locked up, I apologise. Ah, oh, and there he is. And he looks alright, he's quite nice. Uh, I couldn't tell you if there's anything I've that isn't on the original, because I've never had the original, I can't tell you. Um... I imagine there should have been thigh swivels, because there isn't on this. There's no thigh swivel. There's no... Which, you don't realise how much you miss it until you haven't got it. But there's knee, there's toe, the... Oh, sorry, foot goes forward and back. It rotates slightly. Though it feels like it rotates out a lot more than it should. I don't know if that's wrong or not. The arms turn in and out. Swivel. Quite a nice elbow. Wrist turn. Heads on a ball joint. Uh, there's no swivel at the waist, but it's quite nice. 
you know, considering I paid like a tenner for this, it's it's not bad. And he's got a gun. It goes in his hand. And he can pose all like 80s action hero with it. Try and get on the front of a manga UK release. There you go. <coughs> and then... <coughs> 